nationality was Peter. What's your nationality was 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 Andrew? Right. What nationality was John? Right. Right. What nationality was his disciples? Right. They were all Jews. Hey. 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 Show me in their books where they prophesied that the whole all nations in the world will be saved. Okay. Can one. you prove me that? Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes. Show me that. You guys are blind. Go to Isaiah 53. Jesus We're going to say, back. Yeah, it's, it's We're coming all back. Facing judgment. It's, yeah, yeah, it's coming back. Yes. Of course, he ain't come for peace. He come for division. The reason why everybody, Christians, always go to letters of Paul is because you guys are not studied. Right. You guys do not understand the Bible at all, at all, at all. Oh. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something, right? Two things. Give me Peter. Listen to what Peter warned us about, about Paul. Read that. Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 15. An account that belongs suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul. Our beloved brother Paul. Also, according to wisdom. According to what? According to wisdom. Paul was taught by Jesus Christ. When he got hit, Jesus Christ opened his mouth on a whole different level. His wisdom was high. Go ahead. Given unto him. The, that's the, the, the wisdom that was given unto him by Jesus. Have written unto you. He wrote unto us. As also. In all his epistles, all his letters, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Hard to be understood? Which they that are unlearned. They that are unlearned in the Bible. And unstable. They are unstable in the scriptures. Rest. That means you struggle with it. So, the reason why y'all go there is because y'all do not understand the Old Testament. Give me, give me Acts 20. Say it again. So we're talking about, we're talking about what the Bible talking about. He asked me a question, sis. So some respect. Earlier you said that. He asked me a question. I'm here. If I wasn't here, you answer for me. I understand. But I can ask answer for myself. What we're teaching is who is salvation for according to the Bible. Right. Not what we think, what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. There are some stuff when the apostles write them because people don't read the Old Testament when they... Most Christians, all Christians start sorry. reading, let me finish speaking, sorry, I'm sorry, still in my, sorry. my speech. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Most Christians, all Christians start reading the Bible from Matthew. Mm -hmm. They have no understanding of what's in the, in, in, in the Old Testament. Give me Acts. Acts chapter 26 and verse 4. Uh -huh. My manner of life from my youth. So Paul was being judged. So he was given a, a, a short summary of his life. Go ahead. Which was at the first. Among my from the top again. Mm -hmm. My manner of life from my youth, which was at the first. From the time he was young, which was at the first. Among my own nation. Among his own nation. At Jerusalem. Uh huh. Know all the Jews. Uh huh. Know all the Jews. All the Jews know that about Paul. Go ahead. Which knew me from the beginning. If they would testify. If they would testify, if they would have talked the truth, they can say it. What I'm about to say, they can confirm it. Go ahead. That after the most straightest sect of our religion. After the most straightest, straightest sect of our, our religion, religion, I lived a Pharisee. Paul was a Pharisee. He was a Pharisee. That's the reason why he was checking the Pharisees, showing them that they did not understand the scriptures. They, they had an idea, but not according to knowledge. Go ahead. And now, and now, I stand and am judged for the hope of a promise made of God. A hope and a promise made of God? Unto our fathers. Unto our fathers. Unto which promise our twelve tribes. Who was this promise made for? Salvation. Uh, Repentance for sins. He said all these promises was made for us. Was meant to our fathers. Read that part again. Unto which promise our twelve tribes instantly serving from the top again. Yes, sir. From the other verse. Yes, sir. Verse six. And now I stand and then judge for the hope of a promise 
made of God unto our fathers. Who is, when he said God, uh, the promise made of God unto our fathers, who are the fathers he's talking about? Abraham, Abraham. Isaac, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is not the father of the whole world. Right. Jacob became Israel. Israel became a nation. That was the last nation created on the planet. So they cannot be fathers of the nation that was before them. That was who the promise was meant for. Let me finish with it, brother. Right. Unto which promise? Unto which promise? Our 12 tribes. Our, who? Our 12 tribes. Is the whole world 12 tribes or the nation of Israel got 12 tribes in it? Me. Our 12 tribes mean the nation of Israel instantly, instantly serving God day and night. That's what is going on. The promise was made to them. That's why they're serving God day and night. Jump to verse 22. Verse There's the key. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Read verse 8. Huh? Look at this. No, 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 no. Read verse eight now. Okay, read, uh, read verse twenty-two. Verse no, no, no. twenty-two. Verse eight, please, because that's what it says. You gotta read, get bro. All, having get, therefore no, attained cannot, help of God, having help, having entered get of God, I continue. I continue. Paul continue until this day. Until this day that he was being judged, witnessing, witnessing both to small and great. Read, saying none other thing. He said nothing. No other thing than those which the prophets, than those that the prophets and Moses and Moses did say should come. You say you did prophesy. Now, if, if, if you if you if you can go in the Bible, when you say the prophets, Isaiah, Micah, uh, uh, Jeremiah, all the prophets and Moses, show me in their books where they prophesied that the whole. All nations in the world will be saved. Okay, Can one. you prove me that? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Show me that. Okay. One man. Hey, hey, you gonna show, listen? This God, is our. I'm gonna tell you part. something. This Perfect. is our platform. Okay. You said you gonna prove it in the Old Testament that Jesus Christ you was born. You just said That's my question. That's my question. That's. Listen up. Read it again. Right? Read it again to the point. Listen to the point. To the point. You're not coming here and change nothing. When you wanna, you come here. To, to refute what we're breaking the up, then you go on. By the Apostle John, go Read to again. Acts, Revelation. Acts chapter 26, verse 22. Uh -huh. Having therefore obtained help of God, uh -huh. I continue unto uh, this I'm day. I'm to you, my brother. Yeah, I'm talking to you. When he said he continued unto this day, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great. Witnessing to all, in, to all people. Saying none other thing. He said nothing. Then those which the prophets and Moses did say should come. He said he said nothing that's contrary to Moses and all the prophets. Now, if your belief when you read something in the Old Testament that you misunderstand, now you should be able to go in the Old Testament, pick any prophet you want, any book of Moses, and show with your point because Paul himself said that what he was saying is exactly what all the prophets were saying. Right. You know what saying. So now we read his verse 8. Acts chapter 26 and verse 8. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you? You wanted verse 8, right? He's going to read your verse 8. You want to read verse 8. Acts chapter 26, verse 8. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead? Uh, okay, what's your point in there? Read it again. Acts chapter 26 and verse 8. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead? Read, read 7, verse 7, and verse 8. Then read. Uh, read verse 7 and 8. Acts chapter 26. Hey, you go, you go tell me what you need in it. Go ahead. Acts chapter 26, verse read. 7. You tell him to read, right? So yes. let him read, then you talk. Unto which promise our 12 that's tribes. Yes, that's verse 7. Again. Unto which promise our 12 tribes instantly serving God day and night hope to come. For which hope's sake, King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead? Well, that's your point. So you're reading the book out of context. He wasn't saying about the Jews. He's, he's saying that the religion of, I mean, sorry, of what the promise of what God gave to who? Jesus to the Jews. To who? To the Jews. He said the fathers. 
From the fathers. I'm doing out of context. Let's Go ahead. No, he's not going to say something that's different from you gotta the book. Let me finish. He's saying that the Jews are accusing him of, of, of being wrong. Right. Right, because the Jews didn't believe him at all. That's not true. Yes. That's not true. Who crucified Jesus? Huh? Who crucified Jesus? The the leaders. No, the Jews. I'm going to show you. They were I'm all show you. Party, give me, party. give me, give me, give me a jump. Read, no, Give wait, wait, Old Testament, no, Old Testament. You lie. Isaiah you lie. 53. Oh, you don't want to go there. You want to go there? Yes, Damn. let's go. Okay, <laughs> go, go to let's Isaiah go. 53. You guys are blind. Go to oh. Isaiah 53. Jesus We're going to say, back. yeah, it's, it's coming We're back. We're all facing judgment. It's, yeah, yeah, it's coming, yes. You guys are preaching heresy and you're causing division. He came for the same. Of course, he didn't come for peace. He came for division. Right. Read that. Isaiah, oh, who's rest? Who's rest your name? Ah, uh, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Let him talk. Hey, you! No, you asked the question and you turn your back. So I didn't ask you. you turn your back. No. Uh, uh, okay, you are you talking to me? So no, some respect. Didn't come for these people. What verse you need or verses you need in Isaiah 53? What verse you need in Isaiah 53? I'm sorry. No, bro, I'm I will not let you get it. I'm what? You nervous. say go to Isaiah 53. Read the whole Wait. chapter. The whole chapter? Read verse 8. No, no, no. The whole chapter. Yes, read verse 8. No, no, no. From chapter verse 53, one. verse 8. I read. Yeah. He was taken from prison. He was, was taken from prison. And from judgment. From judgment. And who shall declare his generation? Go ahead. For he was cut off out of the land of the living. Because he was killed. For a transgression of my people. Who for whose transgression was he died? For a transgression of my people. Who for whose transgression did he die? My people. Who is Isaiah people? Right now. My question to you: Who is Isaiah people? Bring it out. Oh Lord, have mercy. What nation was Isaiah from? Bring it out. Uh, of course. Now read that part again for the transgression. What? He was taken from prison. Christ was taken from prison. And from judgment. Uh -huh. And who shall declare his generation? It's For he was cut out of the land of the living. He was put to death. For the transgression of my people. Whose transgression did he die for? I say a people, Israel. So I don't want everybody talking about saying uh, the Bible country. Never contradict itself. Right. Now go to, now go to, to John 8, 31. Sorry, we have to right now. Go to John, go to John 8, 31. Let's see. He said Jews did not believe. Read. John chapter 8, verse 31. Listen to this. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. No, no Jews believe on Christ. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. So if the Jews did not believe on Christ, what nationality was Peter? What nationality was 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 Andrew? Right. What nationality was John? Right. Right. What nationality was his disciples? Right. They were all Jews. Hey. 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 Stop the lie. Revelations chapter. You ain't need, you ain't got nothing. Give me give me Mark eight thirty one. We're gonna see that's who from killed John. him. We're gonna John. see who killed he was Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus. We gonna see, yes. We are gonna see who truth. killed Jesus Christ. You have the the the. the, the the era of lies of Christianity is done. That's right. Read that. Mark chapter 8, verse 31. Uh -huh. And he began to teach them. He's going to teach them. That the Son of Man. That's Christ. That's himself. Must suffer many things. He must suffer many things. And be rejected. The, the, and be rejected. Of the elders. Of who? Of the elders. Of who? Of the elders. Who of the Jews rejected him? Of the elders. The elders. And of the chief priests. The chief priests. And scribes. And the scribes. And be killed. And be killed. And that's who was, that's who plotted to kill Christ. Remember, it was the Pharisees that was lying on Christ. Bring him to Pilate. Bring him to Herod. And cause him to be put to death, to be crucified. That's who it was. Right. It was not all the nation. Who was it? Stop the lie. Right. Huh? No. Was it again that Adam killed? Read it again. Mark chapter 8, verse 31. Uh -huh. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders. Christ, the Son of Man, Christ must suffer many things and be rejected. Remember it says, the stone that the builders rejected, the same become the cornerstone, right? So he was rejected of the elders. Of the elders means the leaders. And of the chief priests. The chief priests. And scribes. The scribes. And be killed. And be killed. That's who set him up and killed him. Not the whole nation. He had many 
many followers. Right. They were all Jews. So when people said, yes, yeah, the Jews rejected, it's not biblical. Right. right. Then, then John rejected him too. Then Nathaniel, it was not Nathaniel an Israelite, a Jew. Yes, he was. All his disciples were Israelites. Right. So it is a lie that Christianity keep pushing. And the, the, the time of that lie is finished. Everything will be swallowed up by the truth of the Bible. Right. Now, what was your question you asked? You asked Okay, go to John 11. Go to John 11. Start at 45. Listen to this, my brother. John chapter 11 and verse 45. Uh -huh. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary. Many of the Jews which came to Mary. And had seen the things which Jesus did. Uh -huh. Many of the Jews that came to Mary that see what Jesus did. Believed on him. Uh, did they say the Jews rejected him and killed him? So I said maybe. That means you can count. That's a number you can count. Many. Read that part again please. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did. Uh-huh, that's when he brought Lazarus back to life, right? Believed on him. They believed on Christ, go ahead. But some of them went their way to the Pharisees. But some, not all, some of them went away to the Pharisees. The elders, that's Pharisees, one of the elders, go ahead. And told them what things Jesus had done. Always have spies and betrayers among our people. Always have a Negro that go, how did Malcolm X die? A Negro. Most of our leaders, they got betrayed. For us, it's them, uh, Garvey had the, had the boat. A Negro went in there and sabotaged that thing. You know about that. Yeah. So it's a Negro among us that is paid. What is the brother, your young brother from Chicago? Um, Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. Yeah, you, what, what's uh, Judas' name? Who cares? That damn Negro give give information and betray the brother and he got killed at a very young age in his 20s. There's always a Judas among us. Read, continue. Verse 46, but some of them, went, some of the Jews, went their way to the Pharisees. They went straight to the Pharisees, the liars, the betrayers, traitors, and told them what things Jesus had done. Uh -huh. Then gathered the chief priests. Then gathered the chief priests, the same ones that killed him. They gathered the chief priests. And the Pharisees. And the Pharisees. A council. And said. Now they're taking counsel. Oh, shoot. Many people believe on him. Go ahead. And said, what do we? What do we do? For this man doeth many miracles. He said, this man doing many miracles. If you serving God, you are chief priest, you are a Pharisee that study the law day and night. You see a man doing miracles that you've never seen. Automatically you believe that man is what? A prophet, right? But yet, they couldn't see it. The hatred, they're going to show you why they couldn't accept it. The man doing many miracles, go ahead. If we let him go alone. You see that? If we leave him alone, if we don't do anything about it, just like the Christian pastors are plotting against us today. They see those, those, those brothers in the corners, they're teaching the Bible as it is written. If we don't do something about it, we're going to lose the ching ching. Yeah. Go ahead. If we let him dust alone. If we let him dust alone. All men. All men. Will believe on him. You hear that? All men, me, all the whole nation will believe on him. Go ahead. And Why? Because he's telling the truth. He make the, he make the scriptures plain to be understood. Not confusion. Go ahead. And the Romans. And the Romans, that's the problem. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place. Our place. And nation. And nation. That shows you what? It was about power and money. Yes. Right. So yes. if they have no followers, what's good is your leadership? What's good is your, is your business? It's just a pastor. If nobody goes to the church, what's good is your title? That's the same problem today. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with roles.